Hey guys, welcome back to Track 848. Today I'm going to show you how to hardwire your motorcycle stator to the regulator rectifier. But first, we have to remove this burnt up connector. There are multiple motorcycle makes and models that have this problem, a burnt up stator connector and melted wires. It's been a problem for years and it probably will be for the foreseeable future. The motorcycle up on the lift here is my 2009 Ducati 848. But if your motorcycle has a three-phase stator system, uh, the principles that we talk about today in this video will apply to your bike as well. The stator sits behind this cover on my motorcycle. Yours might be a little bit different. There's a flywheel in there as well that's all part of the charging system. The stator creates AC power for the motorcycle. This current travels through these wires here into the connector that I removed that got burnt up, connects to this set of wires that goes into the regulator rectifier up here. Once the power gets over to the regulator rectifier, it's converted to DC power and then another function of the regulator rectifier is to regulate the amount of current that goes up into the battery. Mine's removed here. And this is where the hot spot is. This is the problem spot for a lot of these motorcycles today. And that's what we're going to fix. We're going to hardwire these together to eliminate that hot spot. So what could be causing these connectors to melt on so many different makes and models? Some people believe that the OEM wiring is too small and other people believe the connectors are to blame. I tend to believe that it's the connector in conjunction with poor preventative maintenance. If these aren't kept clean, resistance is going to build up and your connector is going to melt. Some motorcycles also have an oil wicking issue from inside the engine. Oil wicks down uh, through the stator wires into the connection like this one here and that also contributes to this problem. Let's go ahead and surgically remove this thing. If you've never cut into your OEM wiring before uh, it can be a little daunting the first time that you do it. But don't worry about that. Just grab the cutters and start cutting. I'm going to show you how to hard wire this back together and you'll be back on the road in no time at all. This is the section of wire that was behind the original connector. And you can see that it's pretty much well done here. It's overcooked. So we're, we're not gonna be able to use this in the repair. It's too hard, it's too brittle. It's likely gonna break on us if we reinstalled it. So I'm gonna cut this back uh, until I get to good wire and good insulation. The first thing we have to do here is remove the ECU. I'm going to leave everything connected. I'm just going to get it out of the way enough so I can access the bolts that are holding on the regulator rectifier. I, uh, I took the ECU and it's uh, just secured up here. I got it strapped in so it's out of the way and you can see the regulator rectifier here. Okay, those are both on there good, so. This should come right out now. There's our regulator rectifier. Let's get it over to the bench. Put your heat shrink on first before you connect any wires. Now you wanna make sure that the heat shrink is out of the way because if not, it could get shrunk onto the wires when we heat up these. This is 14 gauge wire. So these connectors that I have are rated for 14 to 16 gauge wire. So that's perfect. And if you're not too familiar with crimping and how to join wires, uh, take a look at the video that I did last week. And uh, that'll give you some more specifics on some best practices that I use. All right, we have those on. Let's get them crimped. 
Now I'm going to crimp in this section right here. I want to go in between this wire stop here and the edge of the barrel over on this side. And you got to make sure that wire is in there nice and tight. Once you're sure everything's good, give this a nice tight squeeze. And I do mean a very nice tight one. And this is what it's going to look like. Okay, once you get all these on, you want to do a pull test. So pull to make sure these are not going to come off. And uh, those all feel really good. And you can see the crimps are nice. Um, they did not penetrate through the material here. And that's exactly what we want. Now when we heat this up, these are going to be very nice connections. Okay. And this one's going in over here. Make sure we're lined up properly. Ah, squeeze it nice and tight there. Good pull test. So we've got good pull test all around. All right, I'm going to go ahead and break out the heat gun and we're going to shrink these up. Okay, that one's shrinking up. You can see the glue is melting on the inside. Okay. I'd like to see the glue come out of the end. So I'm going to take my first layer of heat shrink and I'm just going to try to get that just about even on there. This will be a lot faster. Okay guys, there you have it. The stator is now hardwired to the regulator rectifier. You'll notice that I did not install the OEM sheathing, and that's because I'm going to use my DEI quick fix silicone tape for that. This tape is really quite amazing. It, uh, it's waterproof, it's a permanent seal, and uh, temperature range is really phenomenal. Minus 65 degrees Fahrenheit, all the way up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I have found that the tighter you pull it, the better job that it does. And I've had this tape on other connections before, and it's real easy to get off too. You don't have all the sticky goo that you get with regular electrical tape. So I'm going to reinstall this. I'm going to go ahead and reinstall the ECU. And then uh, we'll basically be finished. We can crank this up and uh, see where we're at. We have 13.1 volts. Let's go ahead and crank it up here. We should see a steady climb up into the 14s. Uh, the spec on this bike calls for 14 and a half volts DC plus or minus 0.5 of a volt. And you can see that's pretty much what I have here. This looks good. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and close this video out today with a stator off of my shelf. This stator came from eBay and I picked it up dirt cheap because of the melted connector. Go figure. But uh, I just wanted to point out, if, if you don't have the oil wicking issue like I had, a big part of your preventative maintenance program should include getting into these connectors and making sure that they're clean. The tools are simple, a pick, a small screwdriver, but you need to get in there and if you do not know how to disassemble the connector, this is from my Ducati here, so you Ducati owners take note. If you do not know how to disengage these terminals, learn how to do it on your bike so you can pull these out and clean them. This is going to help protect your stator, your regulator rectifier, your battery, and it's going to make uh, your life a lot easier. So good luck with your project, and I hope you get back on the road very soon.